Here the nth term expression given as u n is 3 n plus 2. Our aim is to find the first five terms. What you do is uh, choose the option table and here you feed this function. You have to enter the function as 3x plus 2. Not in terms of n, you have to substitute as 3x plus 2 in this y1. So 3 times x plus 2. Okay, hit enter and press F6 to generate table. Okay, if you generate table, you can see first term is 5, second term is 8, third is 11, and fourth term is 14, and the fifth term is 17. These are the first, first five terms. If you want to generate more terms, what you need to do, click exit and go on set and let the starting number be 1 which is the first term and it is by default it is showing up to 5 terms only. You can keep it up to uh, um, 100 terms so it generate the first 100 terms of this sequence. Okay. Uh, now if you want to find the 25th term what you can do is uh, here just feed by keeping the cursor here in the x column anyway and uh, enter 25 it gets a value u25 would be 77 and if you need to find 60th term same like enter 60 it calculates the 60th term 182 which term of the sequence is 212 okay here I made already the table up to 100 terms so we can scroll down and see nicely which term of the sequence would be 212 okay you can see scroll down uh, here it is 62 we have to scroll till this number y1 uh, gets a value of 212 Okay, you can see uh, 69th term is 209 and 70th term is coming to 212. So, which is the term? 70th term would be 212. Show that 300 is not a member in the sequence. What do you do? Okay, so here I can understand that 99, U99, the 99th term is 299 and 100th term is 302. So definitely 300 is not a term in this sequence. If we try to find the n value, it will come as a decimal, 99 point some number it comes, which means if it's not an integer, definitely that's not a member of the sequence. So 99th term is 299 and 100th term is 302. Okay, the difference, the common difference is 3. So definitely not 300 a member of this sequence.